Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has been leaked. Man, Nintendo is not happy. Tears of the Kingdom has officially leaked. This was big news, but it was just the start. Tears of the Kingdom leaked again. But how is that possible? How can a game leak twice? It's the same game. That's true. But it's a different version. You see, the version that was leaked was 1.0.0. Now the second leak was version 1.1.0. It seemed like a small difference. In fact, at first nobody even could tell what the difference was. It seemed like just maybe a few bug fixes here and there. Even Nintendo themselves literally only said, fixed various issues to improve the gameplay experience. But that could not have been further from the truth. Most of the glitches in 1.0 are still present in 1.1, but it's just not the same. In both versions, you can abuse a glitch called Pocket Rocket that lets you fly away really fast. But in 1.1, the rocket breaks after a while. In both versions, you can abuse a glitch called Auto Build Cancel. But in 1.0, it doesn't work as well. Both versions can use a glitch called Zuggling, but in 1.0, it hits significantly harder against Ganon. The list can go on and on, but the point is, each side has their own benefits. It's created a divide in the community, where some people want to play on 1.0 and some people want to play on 1.1. The only problem with that is you can. You see, because both versions of the game were leaked prior to its launch, the game actually launched in version 1.1.0. So the only way to play this game on 1.0 was to own the game physically or play it through an emulator. The speedrunning scene for this game has begun. The first ever run has been recorded by Sly Zora and it was made on 1.1. At first, everyone thought that running on 1.1 was gonna be the fastest because it was the newest and it had faster loads. But then they found out Zuggling. It wouldn't be an understatement to say that Zuggling revolutionized the speedrun, but the problem is it was so much better on 1.0 because you could kill Ganon faster. And honestly, from that point forward, things got so much better for 1.0. They were able to do jump slashes more effectively, kill Ganon much faster, and even clip out of bounds using all new techniques. Wait, Link can clip out of bounds? So if you can clip out of bounds in 1.0, then they patched it in every other version, right? No. They didn't patch out clipping. They changed his entire hitbox. And as a byproduct, that made it impossible to do some of the clips we do in 1.0, including one that saves over an entire minute at the beginning of the game. The time saves for 1.0 were piling up. And with all these new tricks, 1.0 easily became the fastest way to speedrun any percent. But the problem was, someone found out something new. 1.0 was faster on the digital version of the game. But how could people even be playing on digital 1.0 if the game released on 1.1 digitally? Jailbreaking. So that meant, if you were speedrunning this game without a jailbroken switch, then you were already at a massive disadvantage and losing time for no reason other than running it on physical. And on top of that, amiibos were allowed in the any percent. This meant you could buy real life figurines to scan items into the game and save almost a whole minute. So just to be clear, you need a hacked switch, a 1.0 digital version of the game, and now amiibos just to have a chance at getting world record. I mean, to me, that's just absurd to exclude so many people that want to run this game because they have to do something either they're not comfortable with or buy things that they just don't need. Unfortunately, there isn't really an easy solution to all this. So I want to ask you guys, do you think 1.0 should be allowed? Should it be banned? Is it fair to exclude a massive amount of people for the sake of making the game faster? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Alright, if you're still on 1.1 and you just hate it after watching this video, don't, because there's still something really cool that us 1.0 users just can't do. You can build this contraption and use a recall launch to literally launch yourself to the sky barrier, it's so much fun. Speaking of the sky barrier, I broke it, so if you haven't seen that already, definitely go check that video out. Alright, forgive me, but I do not have blackout curtains, so if you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a sub, I want to get to a thousand soon, I'd really appreciate it. Join the Discord if you're interested, we could have some fun chats. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope to see you in another video, we got big plans coming, so drop a sub.